Law and Artifacts of Mars, and Eric Schneiderman, New York Attorney General, is resigning at the end of the day. It seems that four women have accused the Pound Me Too champion of beating the tar out of them when they're in bed. S&M stuff. I guess he put two of them in the hospital from what I heard. Three hours after the publication of the story, Schneiderman resigned from his position while these allegations are unrelated to my professional conduct and operation in the office. They will effectively prevent me from landing, leading the office, office work in it. this critical time. He said in a statement, I therefore resign my office effective at close business on May 8, 2018. Now there's a there's a line from the movie Injustice for All. Uh, the closing scene with Al Pacino. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Hey, Frank, you want to make a deal? I have an insane judge who likes to beat the shit out of women. What do you give me? Something like that. It's not word for word, but... That's what it reminds me of. As New York State's highest ranking law enforcement officer, Schneiderman, who is 63, used his authority to take legal action against the disgraced film mogul Harvey Weinstein and to demand greater compensation for victims of Weinstein's alleged sexual crimes. And this is the jerk who uh, wanted to put people in jail for disagreeing with global warming. A jerk is a jerk. Let's see what it says he uh, did. Now Simon is facing a uh, reckoning of his own as his prominence as voice against sexual misconduct has risen so to his distress of four women with whom he had romantic relationships or encounters. They accused Schneiderman of having subjected them to non-consensual physical violence. In other words, they beat the tower at him. All been reluctant to speak out, fearing reprisal. But two of the women, Michelle Manning, Barish, and Tanya, unpronounceable, have talked to the New Yorker on the record because they feel that doing so could protect other women. They allegedly repeatedly hit him often after drinking, frequently in bed and never with their consent. Manning, Barish, and Unpronounceable categorized their the abuses he inflicted on them as assault. They did not report their allegations to police at the time. Wilson they have eventually sought medical attention after having been slapped hard across the ear and face and also choked. Unpronounceable says that Simon warned her that he could have her followed on her phone. Captain Wolf said that he threatened to kill them if they broke up with him. Simon's spokesperson says he has never made any of these threats. Like, I'm going to believe you. Now, like I said, a jerk is a jerk, and Governor Cuomo is a jerk. And you can bet that Governor Cuomo will put a jerk in there for uh, Attorney General. This, uh, Schneiderman wanted to jail people for disagreeing with global warming. That's the kind of jerk this monster is. We're well, well rid of him. But you can expect another jerk in there at some point. Nice. And you can't get away from it when you have a jerk in the uh, governor's mansion. But another one bites the dust. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.